And I know like uh, Kilal Gibran says, your children are not your children. They live in the house of the future, a place we cannot visit, not even in our in our hearts. And I realize that you'll make your own way. And my, my job as a parent is to keep you safe so that you're, you're in a safe environment to experiment. And I'll try to protect your self-esteem so that when when I'm a disciplinarian, and incidentally, disciple means uh, to learn from rather than to punish. So instead of punishing you, I want to set some boundaries with you, some things that uh, we expect from each other, and to have this integrity to be honest with each other. But first of all, I want you to know that I'll be there for you. And then after you have that talk with them, show up at recitals, show up at practices. I used to show up for the championship game, for the engagement, for the graduation. I would show up at the big events, but for some reason, I don't know why, I didn't show up for the rehearsal, the little practices, the just just to show up and be backstage for the things that were important to them, but not necessarily things that I set time aside for. So finally, I learned to put on my calendar in red letters, IRS meeting. And that was the only way that I, when I put on my calendar that I had a red IRS meeting that I could justify to the people who wanted me to be at their meeting or to be helping them or to make more money for myself. IRS means intimate relations schedule. And that meant that nothing would keep me away from attending something for my child, with my child, at a time when they were growing up. And I don't want to take too much time, Emmy, on that, but I would say that uh, early responsibilities, give your children roots and wings instead of loot and things. Roots of value, inner value, and wings of responsibility for independence. So they'll tie their shoes, so they'll remember their lunch, so they'll do their homework, so they'll be proactive instead of reactive. So they'll be able to manage the the resiliency that comes from failure and comes from setbacks and mistakes. What we need to do is to give them the strength to overcome the little things that they run into when they're young. As long as it does not hurt them physically or emotionally and take away their self-worth, we need to let them make their little mistakes and be slow about learning by giving them responsibilities and teachable moments. So if I could live my life again, I would spend more time with and less money on, and I would not try to solve my children's problems so that they did not have to go through the joy of earning and learning that I had, which I thought were sacrifices, but were really teaching moments. And so the seeds of greatness are planted with being able to pull the weeds out along the way. And that's one thing I can say is show up more in person for your children and spend time before they go to bed. But please let them make mistakes and handle their mistakes when they're little and small and the mistakes are small so they won't have mountains like Mount Everest and they'll treat a a molehill what it is, just a small small molehill, but not Mount Everest to overcome. Wow. Wow, thank you so much. Dr. Waitley, that was just amazing, and I appreciate you so much. It's just an honor. Um, and it reminds me of one of my favorite quotes of yours. It's about, like, the greatest gift that you can give your children are the uh, the, the responsibility and that independence. So uh, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And, yeah, I'll um, move the mic back to you. Thank you. Yeah, it's about don't take the mountain away, right? Don't right. take the mountain away. Just watch them climb it. Help them climb it, but don't take it away. I love exactly. that. Exactly. Don't. In other words, don't clip their wings so they can't fly. Be the wind beneath their wings, but do not clip their wings by doing things for them that they should be doing for themselves. And that means putting toys away themselves. That means cleaning their room as early as possible and giving them an allowance that they can learn how to manage money so that it's not all instant gratification, so that they save some money for delayed gratification in the future. And that will make them financially independent.